Hi, this is Chris Dittmar with the dividends of Monday night's SA Lotto draw. I'll see you next Monday night for the SA Lotto draw. In the meantime, don't forget to watch Seven for tonight's Oz Lotto draw, Powerball on Thursday and Lotto on Saturday, all appearing at 8.30pm here on Seven. This is Seven News. Tonight, the steel standoff, the bitter dispute crippling our car industry deepens. Cuts to surgery as Adelaide hospitals try to cope with winter overload. And France, the reigning champions, out of the World Cup. With Jane Doyle and Graham Goodings. Good evening. Also tonight, six years jail for the former federal MP, Andrew Theophanis. But first, 7,000 workers at Holden and Mitsubishi have been told there'll be no stand-downs this week, but there's still no end to the steel strike at BHP. The union wants to negotiate, but the company's playing hardball. There's even talk of strike breakers being brought in to bust open picket lines. They've been a long time coming, but moves to toughen up the state's dog laws should start in three weeks. The issue's been highlighted by yet another dreadful injury suffered by a toddler. The minister responsible wants fundamental changes in people's attitudes. Next, disaster averted. The US says it's foiled a plot to detonate a radioactive bomb in the heart of Washington. And the secret's no secret anymore. A beetle and his bride-to-be. On Today Tonight, are you eating crook chalk? Even people who don't eat meat are at risk of this. Force-fed with drugs to fatten them up. It's not necessary. Now experts warn they could make your family sick. 6.30 on 7. <laughs> and good luck to them too. Time now for Sports News with Chris Titmar and the words out on the Mighty Crows midfield, Chris. That's right, Graham. Of course, the week off this week, they've been doing some tests on their star on balls and the results are quite amazing. That story coming up. Also, Andrew McLeod talks with local hockey champ Craig Victory and another World Cup shock as France is eliminated. And finally, Mark Philippoussis has been handed a wild card for Wimbledon. His rankings dropped to 110, but he has made the quarters three times there before. For tonight, that's our sport. Jane. The poo, as HG and Roy poo, like to call him. It. That's right. <laughs> thanks, Not the Winnie variety. No, 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 the poo. Thanks, Chris. Speed cameras and finance next. And Nula with the weather, and she's about the only ray of sunshine you're likely to see all week. Now with details of today, tonight, here's Lee. Thanks, Jane. Tonight, those hoons driving at two and three hundred kilometres an hour. Now we've caught them on camera. The police say they've also got them in their sights. And Adelaide's Shonky Pool Man, a family pool that's almost never been used, 16 court appearances later and they still can't get their money back. We'll have those stories and more coming up tonight right after the news. Thanks, Lee. To Tuesday's finance figures and the stock market fell back today with some major shares losing ground. Notable among them were Heavyweights, News Corporation and Telstra. Others to drop back sharply included Orion Gold and Village Roadshow. One sector that was stronger was the banking with ANZ at a new high. Our dollar dropped back below 57 US cents. Now, what was the weather doing today and what's it going to do in the future? Here's Nula. Thank you, Graham. Good evening, everyone. Well, as forecast, the showers cleared today, but not so the cloud which hung about dulling our skies and keeping our top down to just 15.9 degrees at 10.30 this morning. That's only a couple of degrees up on the low of 13.3 at 6 o'clock last night. And don't get too accustomed to this dry weather. It won't last for long, with more showers expected tomorrow in the city where it's now 14 degrees. On the satellite map, here's just what a moist westerly airstream can do. Much of southeastern Australia is under low cloud at the moment, but it's not all due to those westerlies. There's also a cold front lying just along its back edge. That front will reach the west of our state overnight before crossing the rest of our agricultural areas early tomorrow. Bring your return to the windy and showery conditions we experienced over the weekend. On Thursday, the stronger gale force west to south westerly winds should ease and showers should clear back to southern coast ahead of the next even stronger system due just in time to give us another wet weekend. Interstate tomorrow, some late showers in Perth, windy with showers turning to rain in Melbourne, a shower to us well down in Hobart, cloudy but mostly dry in Canberra and a fine day in other major centres. 
Back home, although there was still plenty of cloud about today, it only generated a little drizzle, mainly over our southern coastal strip. Otherwise, it was fine and daytime temperatures were able to recover to about average for this time of year. They ranged from 24 degrees up in Marla to just 10 degrees at Mount Crawford, northeast of Elizabeth. Temperatures will dip down again tomorrow, though, as northwesterly winds turn a cooler, fresh to strong and gusty west to southwesterly during the day. Scattered showers will also develop with the chance uh, mainly over with the change mainly over agricultural areas. A gale warning has been issued for the south central and southeast coast for tomorrow. And there's also a strong wind warning for gale waters and the west coast seas rising to one and a half to two metres on local waters. And in the city, it's back to some wet and windy weather tomorrow, with showers arriving tomorrow morning and winds picking up around mid-morning. It's up to around 16, 11 degrees overnight. Then looking further ahead, still a morning shower or two on Thursday, but it should start to fine up again during the day. Ahead of the next system due on Friday, a line of showers will move through with that change. And then cold and up to gale force west to southwesterly winds will keep the wet weather going over the weekend, I'm afraid. Good night. Thanks, Nuala. Now time for our regular run-through of speed camera locations. And police will be targeting motorists in the north and particularly the south. They'll be taking snaps of speedsters on many main roads in the north, including Midway Road, Salisbury Highway and Cross Keys Road. And don't even think about pressing the pedal to the metal in the southern suburbs with cameras right throughout that area, including Double Trouble in St Mary's, Happy Valley and along Main South Road. Be warned. Be warned. To be warned is to be... Uh, yeah. to be, yeah. Where are you going with that, Greg? I'm going home. <laughs> okay, you can. Here's Lee. Good night. Well said. Hello, welcome to the program. First tonight, it's Australia's favourite meat, but are you unwittingly feeding your family crook chook? We apparently spend two and a quarter billion dollars a year on chicken, with many families choosing poultry for multiple meals a week. But now, as Helen Wellings reports, an alarming new report reveals additives used to enhance poultry growth rates and minimise disease may be harming your family's health.